على تخوم الذاكرة نقف مع قصة رجلين اعتنقا الإسلام منذ مدة طويلة so my duty is basically is to help raise the awareness of Muslims to what Islam has to offer honestly before Islam I didn't have any direction at all رحلة كفاح ومسيرة طويلة لرجلين استثنائيين تتوالى تفاصيل الحكاية في نقطة تحول مع إشراقة كل صباح يخرج الدكتور بلال فيليبس مع زوجته إلى العمل في مركز عبد الله بن زيد للتعريف بالاسلام. حيث يعمل بلال كمحاضر في مركز المحاضرات الاسلاميه بينما تعمل زوجته كداعيه. يقيم الدكتور بلال فيليبس ابو امينه في قطر منذ عشر سنوات. جاء الى هنا مكملا رحله كفاح بداها قبل 40 عاما عندما اعتنق الاسلام. السلام عليكم. في هذا المكان يحضر أبو أمينة برامجه ومحاضراته المصورة التي تعلم المهتدين أصول وممارسات دينهم الجديد. I was born in Jamaica in a Christian family. My name was Dennis Phillips, Dennis Bradley Phillips, and um, I grew up in Jamaica until I was about seven. Then my family migrated to Toronto, Canada. So, you know, I was like the only black kid in the school. Sometimes I'd be one black kid in the whole school. Everybody else was, you know, European background people. خلال تنقله بين كندا وماليزيا، حيث كان يعمل والداه مدرسان هناك، تفتحت عيناه على قضايا إنسانية جوهرية كالاضطهاد والعنصرية وعدم المساواة بين البشر، خاصة بعد عودته لإكمال دراسته الجامعية. في كندا. In university, I I now had another look at the world, and um, I felt at that point a need to be part of a change. انخرط بلال في الحركة الشيوعية آنذاك لأنه اعتقد أنها قدمت حلولا لمشاكل الفقر واللا مساواة، ولكن بعد ذلك. I felt uh, communism really was not. Successful in handling the problems of human society, and at that point, when I decided that um, the answer was not there in um, communism with certainty, uh, it was at this point that one of the people in the organization, a uh, female from Jamaica, also she accepted Islam. So at first, I was quite surprised and. Question: How could you do that? And she informed me that no, you know, Islam was not like the other religions. You know, so I said, okay, let me read something about it. And I got some books. I started reading. After reading, I became convinced that really what Islam offered was the answer. After going through my own sort of personal experience. Which brought me back to accepting the idea of the existence of God. I decided to become a Muslim. يوم الجمعة يخرج المصلون لأداء صلاة ظهر جماعة عملا بقوله تعالى. يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا نودي للصلاة من يوم الجمعة فاسعوا إلى ذكر الله وذروا البيع ذلكم خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون هذا الشهر الذي نحن فيه شهر محرم أول شهور في السنة الهجرية ولما كان الأمر كذلك كان ينبغي أن نذكر أنفسنا بمعالي الهجرة 
في هذا العام يكون عقيل بلال قد أتم واحدا وعشرين عاما من عمره كمسلم تلك الفكرة التي غيرت فجر التاريخ My name is Akil Bilal Ali. I'm from America. I'm 42 years old. I have two children and I live in Qatar. Presently, I'm a fitness instructor and a kickboxing. By the third year of university, I met a, I had a history, a history professor by the name of Dr. Musa, who was from Sierra Leone. And he told us a lot about Islam in the class. At the same time, there was a war going on between Iraq and Kuwait. And this is, Islam was in the news. People were talking about Muslims, Islam. I didn't know anything about it still. And at the same time, I saw an old childhood friend of mine walking down the street one day. I was leaving class, and he was wearing a white dress and a white cap. and. He had a beard, and I barely recognized who he was. And he, uh, I pulled over, gave him a ride, offered him a ride. I hadn't seen him in a long time. And I asked him, what happened to you? Why, why are you dressed this way? He said, I'm a Muslim. Uh, my name is Abdullah. So this made me want to go and read more, more about Islam. I went to the, to the library and read a few books, and eventually I got a video. I rented a video about the five pillars of Islam. And I watched it, I think, two or three times. But when I saw the people on the Hajj, this is what really made me want to be a Muslim. Whereas in Islam, I found out that it didn't matter where you were from or what color you were from or how rich or how poor um, you, you are, we all pray together in the same place. For us, this was, you know, this was, very, this was what we were looking for, something that people can be equal. عرف عقيل أن الإسلام هو الخيار الذي كان يبحث عنه فذهب إلى المسجد هو وصديق له وأشهر إسلامهما We said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. And my friend and I um, became Muslim. When I became a Muslim, then I want to read. There wasn't too many books available at that time in English. So, I mean, I tried to do what I could. Then I realized I had to go and learn Arabic and go and study Islam from its sources. So within a year after I accepted Islam, I got a scholarship to Medina and I went to Saudi Arabia and began to study Islam Arabic first and then Islam formally. بعد أربعين عاما من اعتناقه الإسلام وحصوله على شهادة الدكتوراه في التربية الإسلامية وبعد رحلة كفاح طويلة في نشر الإسلام أصبح بلا الفيليبس واحدا من أكبر الدعاة والمحاضرين في الإسلام في العالم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار Brothers and sisters with the beginning of this month, we enter into a new school year. In Qatar, 
I began to teaching uh, du'at or, or those who are trained to prop propagate Islam to others and focused from that point on, on online teaching. So I started a university in 2007 called the Islamic Online University. And um, in 2007, we started with a series of short courses, which were free. And uh, the number of students swelled from zero in 2007 to over 100,000 students today. So my duty is basically is to help uh, raise the awareness of Muslims to what Islam has to offer. بهمة عالية يواصل الدكتور بلال ابتكار الأفكار والبرامج التي تعمل على التعريف بالإسلام للمهتدين الجدد طلبات من المركز إذا جاءك أحد يعني ما هي أهم الأشياء غير مسلم يريد أن يسلم يعني فنبين لهم أهم الأشياء العشرة بالصفة الشخصية كواحد من المستمعين لخطب بلال فيليبس والمتابعين حتى لمحاضراته أعتقد هو رجل يتسم ب كشخص يتسم بأنه شخص محبوب يحسن التواصل مع الآخرين شخص بشوش يمثل الإسلام في السلوك العملي ولا يحب يعني لا يضع بينه وبين الآخرين حواجز رغم أنه شخص مشهور ومعروف يعني لكن لا يضع بينه وبين الآخرين حواجز بالنسبة له كداعي أنا أعتقد أنه شخص وسطي معتدل يتميز بعمق المعرفة التوازن ما بين الاحتياجات المخاطبين الأشخاص اللي يخاطبهم والأشخاص والمعلومات التي عنده والمعرفة التي عنده يستطيع يوصل أعمق الأفكار بأبسط الأسواليب لكل المتلقين Islam has a solution to every problem. I, I, don't, I don't see how anyone cannot believe in Islam. Honestly, b before Islam, I didn't have any direction at all. I had a lot of questions, but I didn't have answers. And the more I studied Islam, the more I, 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 I looked into um, the Quran and the Hadith, um, I found all the answers that I needed. And, you know, once you find your purpose in life, life becomes easy. لم تعد حياة عقيل بعد الإسلام كما كانت عليه. لقد تغيرت كثيرا. Yeah, right now I'm headed to my Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu class. I think it's a great sport. It's kind of addictive in a way. I think every, particularly every man, should should um, should do some type of combat sport just to release a lot of the aggression that they have sometimes and. It takes a lot of stress away, and uh, for me, it, it keeps me in shape. It's good to know that I can I can defend myself and defend my family if I have to. Today is a very important training session because we have a competition. So. All the guys are getting ready to, to go over to Abu Dhabi to compete in the Arab Cup. Three. <laughs> وكيف تدافع واحد من ثلاثة وإيش الكاونتر أتاكس واحد من ثلاثة لما يبتسم تحس إنه صح هذا صاحبك حتى لو متعرف عليه من من خمس دقايق تقريبا تحس إنه إسلام كثير ساعده يعيش عقيل حياة أسرية مستقرة. By both of us being Muslims, we know the rules, so she can always keep me in check. I can keep her in check, um, reminding each other of our religious duties. Um, and it's so much easier when you have someone that is trying to practice. And this is good for my training also. 
This is my secret. I don't tell the guys at the uh, at the gym about this. This is my secret. This is this this is my 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 power here. منذ عام 2009 وحتى الآن تم اختيار بلال فيليبس كواحد من أكثر 500 شخصية مؤثرة في العالم وهذا ليس غريبا على رجل نذر حياته ودرس وعمل بكل طاقاته لخدمة ونشر الإسلام الله سمع الله لمن حمده السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله إنه يوم من أيام شهر رمضان المبارك يلتقي أصدقاء بلال وطلابه في منزله على مائدة الإفطار The goals of Ramadan, uh, fasting of Ramadan uh, don't end with Ramadan. They are things which are needed throughout one's life uh, in terms of being aware of the needy, you know, feeling um, yourself hungry, reminding, being reminded that there are people out there who are hungry not because they chose to fast, but because they can't eat, their food isn't available. So it's a, it's a good reminder from that perspective and also to uh, discipline, to put discipline in one's life. Fasting is a very good disciplinary uh, principle. ابنه أسامة بقدر ما يرى أباه حنونا يراه رجلا عظيما. والله هو يعني رجل يعني مبتكر في أفكاره. يعني دائما يبحث عن مشروعات جديدة Usually after I finish walking in the morning then I do an exercise known as Tai Chi um, I've been involved in martial arts actually from the time I was quite young I studied Judo, Karate, Kung Fu, uh, Taekwondo and um, in the latter part of my life now, I prefer this particular form because it's geared towards um, older people. It's uh, not as, as sharp and harsh as the other forms, the other styles of martial arts. And it's sort of like the grandfather of the various martial arts that are around today. It's called Tai Chi from China. And uh, I found it a good way to, to start the day or even to close the day sometimes I do it at night يمارس بلال رياضته الصباحية اليومية انطلاقا من إيمانه بقول الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم المؤمن القوي خير وأحب إلى الله من المؤمن الضعيف يقيم عقيل في قطر منذ 13 عاما من غير اي شعور بالغربه فكثير من الاصدقاء حوله واحمد واحد منهم When I became a Muslim I had to remove myself from the crowd that I was with um, because as a typical college student the drinking the partying and you know the sort of wild things that young people do while in university so I decided to remove myself from that crowd. And that was another reason why I decided to leave the city. I wanted to learn Arabic. I wanted to learn how to read the Quran. I wanted to see Mecca. I wanted to, you know, when you read about Islam, that you hear the call of prayer, then you respond by walking to the masjid and you hear, you read about these things, but it's very hard to practice this in America. So I decided to uh, look for a job overseas. 
And the first opportunity came in Bahrain, and I took the opportunity. When I first left America, I really didn't have any intention on going back and living in America permanently. Um, but as I've been here for such a long time now, my, my ideas have changed a bit. I love to live in the Muslim countries. I love to be around. I've met many, many people here who, who've helped me and who've taught me a lot. And my family, my friends, uh, I mean, we're very comfortable here. But I think at some point, um, I need to go back. I need to go back home and teach my family more about Islam. Akil is a great guy. You know, I've, outside of jiu-jitsu, we've learned a lot. The, the conversations that we had about life, just, just having the conversations about Islam or about religion or about life or work or whatever, it's been amazing. I mean, great helpful. So just the small little tips that it gives you, it's been helpful. I mean, it helps you structure what you think about life and whatnot. So. أمضى بلال حياته في دراسة الإسلام لم يكتفي بالقراءة بل ألف ما يزيد عن خمسين كتابا في تعليم وشرح تعاليم الإسلام Among the topics that I've done I've done here Islamic studies series and the next book here is my PhD thesis which was published called The Exorcist Tradition in Islam uh, Probably my most famous book where maybe over a million copies have been printed Usul al-Hadith, this is for the Hadith sciences. Usul al-Tafsir, this is for Tafsir. Ibn Taymiyyah's essay on the heart. This is a book which is for general reading. The Moral Foundations of Islamic Culture. Arabic Grammar Made Easy. As a Muslim, you understand Islam, you should share it with others. Whether they accept it, they don't accept it, that's another thing. But at least you have that responsibility to, to share your faith with others. I think it's everyone's duty to, to teach others about Islam. If they accept it, they accept it. If they reject it, they reject it. But at least you've done your duty as a Muslim to tell people about Allah and His Messenger. هذه قصص أناس عشق الإسلام فساروا في طريقه واتخذوه نهجا قلوبهم العامرة بالإيمان قد تدفع الكثيرين لاكتشاف هذا الدين وربما اعتناقه فيما بعد